This is a video to demonstrate getting the share working between Mac OS and UTM with Windows. Um, this is a request from a Redditor. So, first of all, we'll go create a new machine. Um, we're going to pick Virtualize, <coughs> Windows, and we're going to grab this uh, Windows ISO that I downloaded, or <coughs> I think, um, actually, I think VMware downloaded this automatically and I just saved it. <coughs> so, um, looks good. Hit continue. Uh, we'll take 8192 megabytes of RAM. Continue, specify the drive where data will be stored or the size of the drive. 64 gigs is fine. Shared directory. Okay, so we're going to browse for the shared directory. And uh, we'll just pick this one called shared. That's on the desktop. And now we'll go continue. Um, now, let's take the defaults, hope it runs. Hit save. Let's start. And now it's going to take a long time to do the installation. <coughs> so, oops. I'll just relax and watch the progress. I've done this a lot, of, many, many times in the past, so it should be fairly old hat. <coughs> Okay, next, we don't have a product key, uh, we'll take Pro, and yes, next, next, and it's going to go off and uh, do the Windows setup and install Windows. I just need to check a few things. Windows. You edit these things do. I will need to disable the network at some point um, so that I don't have to uh, enter credentials. <coughs> no, it's going to take like an hour.
Oh, what's the key combination? Um, function shift F11. No, function 10. There it is. Uh, OBE slash, oops. Turn off the Wi Fi. Oh, nuts. Where's that? Uh, shift. Windows to auto or OBE. And we got windows. Um, normally I would install, well, actually it's already set up for me, so uh, let's go install. 
the guest tools. Okay, um, so we got Windows up. We'll just go into Explorer. Oh, come on. And uh, drive. Let's just do that. Um, okay, here's the network drive. <clears throat> okay, so um, this is on the Mac. We didn't need to do that network thing. So this is the shared directory we, we set up. As you can see right now, it's empty. If we look on the Windows side, it just says Spice Clipboard. This is when you um, cut and paste uh, the, the stuff goes in here to communicate between the two systems. So we'll take this file called Investing Ideas and we'll drag it to the shared folder on Mac OS S. So that's in here now and it should show up here in a moment. Just go here, click over here and there it is, Investing Ideas. Uh, so We'll just copy this, we'll just, sorry, we'll move this back. Oops. That's fine. And uh, it doesn't update it immediately. If we go here and go here, we'll see that it's gone. So that's uh, how you use the shared directory. So I can move stuff. Um, well, let's try another one. Let's move this file. Move that here. Uh, we'll just do this so that we can see it and now we it's have the five. file <laughs> and if I want <coughs> um, I can just drag it over to the desktop here on my the Windows desktop and there it is so I now have well this is a, this is on the Windows system but this is the Windows desktop so um, it works fine uh, let me just drag this back so that it's on my desktop I don't even know what that is, but so anyway, <coughs> um, it should be gone here now after I refresh it, and it is. But it, this file's now on my Windows system, so that's kind of all there is to it. Uh, you can obviously drag stuff. Uh, if, you, if you create something on Windows, you can just drag it over to this network drive, and it'll show up in this folder. So that's how I move stuff back and forth. Uh, the clipboard stuff works fine too. Um, I think it's turned on by default, but um, on the Windows side, you just can use Control, your Control X, Control C, Control V, and on the Mac OS side, you just use your uh, 
command uh, X, command C, command V. So that's it. That's, uh, oh, by the way, this video also shows you how to use the, um, the live Windows 11 ARM. Uh, my previous video was using um, the dev channel, which was a beta, and that, that beta is over again. You can, if you have it, you can still install it. It'll just tell you that you should update to the live. And uh, I think it'll try to update to the live for you, and it may or may not work. But um, at this point, you might as well just get Windows 11. At some point, Windows 12 will go beta, and you can pull that down to give it a try. But anyway, that's it for this video.